If you're out there in Maryland and you're thinking about investing in the Cleveland market, you need to watch this show. You need to pay attention before you spend any money. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today I'm working with my man, Terry. Terry is an investor from Maryland, and we're getting a lot of investors uh, in various cities in Maryland coming here to Holton Wise to invest in the Cleveland real estate market, right? The reason being is the Cleveland real estate market offers a higher amount of cash flow for a much lower price than what a lot of you folks out there in Maryland are used to. In addition to that, it's a lot more landlord friendly, right? So if you're from Maryland and you've been thinking about investing in Cleveland, today's show is very appropriate for you to pay attention to, right? Because our properties out here in Cleveland, just because they're cheaper doesn't mean they're always going to be an amazing investment. And Terry, you sent me a property, and before you spend the amount of money they want you to spend, right, before you drop a couple hundred Gs on this sucker, I want to talk to you about the investment, let you know exactly what you're getting what I project the returns to be. So let's jump into that right after this. Two, please. Welcome back. All right. So this property, uh, well, first and foremost, I want to just clarify something for you, right? You see right here, it's been on the market 119 days, and it says temporary off market. They just changed that status around the Christmas uh, season, right? They did it so people wouldn't bother the tenants and try to show uh, the property right around Christmas. So it's still very much for sale. It's active. They're going to be changing that back to active in a couple days because as I talk to you right now, we're a couple days removed from Christmas. I wouldn't be filming a video for you on Christmas. That'd be crazy. Who would take financial advice from a guy who's still got to come into the office on Christmas? Don't do that. That'd be horrible. But uh, Christmas is over. This property is very much available, right? The address, 20090 South Lakeshore Boulevard, Euclid, Ohio. It's priced at $167,900. And as I said, been on the market 119 days. That should tell you it's overpriced, right? It actually was even more overpriced than that, okay? It was... Uh, Priced in like the 180s. Now, <clears throat> it's not like the worst property in the world. I actually like the property quite a bit, but the issue is uh, it doesn't really pencil out as an investment that's going to make a lot of money, right? It's in an area where you have a lot of owner occupied homes and it's very dated, right? What's going to happen here is this is a property that the price point you would have to pay is going to make it a very low profitable uh, profitable profitability rental i don't the price point you'd have to pay would make it a rental with a very low amount of profitability boom got it took me a while to get that out right you have to overpay essentially because this is a little area a little neighborhood uh by the way you see some newer mechanicals that's quite nice uh this is an area where you got a lot of owner occupied people and that's what's going to drive the housing price, right? Now, what we have going on there, okay? They have a one-bedroom, one-bath tenant, and they just increase his rent. So it's at 710 And then the other unit is currently rented at 835 right? So you'd be getting 1545 in rent, right? 18540 okay? 18540 for the year. Price point, $167,900. It would be probably cash flow negative, right? I think the most you can possibly pay for this uh, and have it be like somewhat reasonable would be 150 And even then, it's not like an amazing uh, return 
but you're going to probably have to pay 150 because I think this is a property that you're going to have to understand the pricing in this area is going to be driven high uh, based on owner occupants who want to live there, right? This is like a perfect like home with like an in-law suite, right? That's really what it's kind of geared towards, okay? So I know oftentimes as investors, we put our blinders on and we forget that houses are actually places people want to live, right? I know a lot of you folks from out of town think that like all of the Cleveland market is just rentals. It's not the case. We actually own homes too, okay? So this is an area where 150 is probably going to be the price point, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, if you can't pay at least 150, I find it very unlikely the seller will accept your offer. At the price point of 150, I believe after fixed and variable expense estimates are taken into account, the thing will kick off around 6,436 a year, right? You pay 150, you put down 37, bank kicks in 112, that would result in a 4.3 cap or a 2% cash on cash return, right? So you said you sent me this property because you were very interested in it. You said you had a boner for it for some reason, and uh, you wanted my thoughts on it. So my thoughts are it's a nice house in a pretty nice neighborhood, right? You're very close to Amazon, so you're always going to have uh, a whole slew of workers, right? We just got a brand-new Amazon fulfillment center, so it's quite nice. Uh, but that's a double-edged sword. It being quite nice and it being low risk, it's in a nice little owner-occupied pocket there, that's going to drive up your price and it's going to drive down your return. So if that's something you're interested in and you're still interested, absolutely, there's not going to be any pain involved in this investment, but you're also not going to be getting rich off of it. So let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.